Hello and welcome to another IELTS video. The purpose here is to discuss a table and how should you organize the content? Organize the content of a table. How should you present it? Let us go through this example. It's about an underground railway system in six countries. I'm not sorry, not countries. These are cities. In six cities, and you have to summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So let us go through it. There are six cities. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And there are three criteria. One, two, three. The first thing to remember is that these three criteria are separate from each other. They're very different. They're, they cannot be compared. Uh, date opened, this is the time, this is route length, and this is the number of passengers travel who travel per year in millions. Um, I will not be discussing the introduction and the overall thing, but how you should proceed is number one, date opened, which was opened at, at first, which was the first one, it's 1863. And which is the latest one, it's 2001, Los Angeles. Kilometers of route. Um, the longest length route length is of London and the smallest is of Kyoto. Finally passengers. The largest number of passengers are in Tokyo. The smallest are again in Kyoto. Now it's important to remember a principle. First of all you can compare only apples with apples. You cannot compare apples with oranges. So don't make this, that mistake. I've seen students writing in the same sentence, date opened, as well as kilometers of route, as well as passengers. So that is wrong. You cannot move in this direction. If you move in this direction, you will merely be stating numbers. And merely stating numbers is not the purpose of this question. It clearly states main features and make comparisons. So if you merely state numbers, London was open in 863, carries this much passengers on uh, this much route length, that is wrong. So your purpose here is to meet is to move vertically. So move from date open discuss the date open first and uh, then move to routes of kilometers. So what is the length of the of the total travel? that it travels on the tracks and finally move to the passenger. So you have to move in this direction and show the trend. So the trend over here is that this was the first one followed by Paris, it's not Paris, it's Paris, um, then Tokyo, Washington DC, and then finally Kyoto. Kyoto and then, I'm sorry, Los Angeles. So there is a sequence in which you need to move. That is the trend. Then move to the next element which is um, the route length so it's longest is of London use the right word longest don't say greatest or largest it's the longest use the right word otherwise you lose bands in vocabulary or lexical resources precisely so followed by Paris Tokyo uh, of course Washington DC Los Angeles and the smallest is Kyoto so don't forget to mention the longest and the least and smallest. Um, without that, uh, your answer will not be complete. Similarly, passengers. So there are three paragraphs, or at least two paragraphs. Write one paragraph on the opening date, another on the route length, the kilometers. You can also call it route length. And finally, another on passengers. You can go through the link below this YouTube video and that will direct you to the sample answer. Uh, I've made this video just to make sure that things are organized and you do not confuse different items within the same sentence. Do not try to put more than one item in a sentence. You can compare London and Paris on date opened, on kilometer route length or on passengers, but you can't compare London and Paris using four numbers or four two criteria in the same sentence so that will be confusing just focus on one item at a time this is extremely important i hope you like the video it, it helped you it will help you write better answer 
uh, gain some idea of how tables move and just subscribe to the channel and follow my website for more interesting stuff. Thank you.